hello everyone so today i am going to implement a system that is inspired from this uh, ghost of tsushima style focused hearing uh, ability we have here so what happens is when we enter into the focused hearing mode everything else except the character and the enemies becomes somewhat grayscale and uh, and the characters and enemies remain colored and also they have a white out they have a reddish outline so here see the characters have the colors but the rest becomes somewhat grayscale so yeah that's what i'm attempting to develop here so here this is the normal look if i press v you can see my character and the other character in the screen remains uh, colored but everything else becomes black and white this is not exactly at, as in ghost of tsushima but i just want to demonstrate how to implement this system if i press v again it goes away here enabled and disabled so i'm going to show you how to create this post process material and also how to dynamically apply into the game with the key key input so you can enable and disable like this so yeah that's what we are going to work on today and before i get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done in my channel from the patreon page so once you become a member you can download any project file you need from the almost 2000 videos that i have in my channel yeah i'll leave the link in description below and let's get back to today's tutorial okay so this is uh this is the th default third person map but here is i have added the free asset just to have some colorful map so that i can clearly see the effect in action but other than that it's just a map it doesn't matter you can use any map you want and you can use any character you want all right now let's create a new folder materials and let's create a new material m a p color pop okay now let's go here open it and first thing is set the material domain to post process because we are going to use this as a post process material right now you can use post process no, uh, scene te texture here we can use select post process input zero and if you connect it you will see whatever you get in the scene in the same color as the post process output now if you put this into a desaturation and connect now you see everything in black and white so this is what you are going to use okay now here we do have a post process volume but if not you can just drag and drop one like this drag and drop post process volume into the map but i'm not going to do that because i already have one in this level and then here go to the find post process material section here i already have two post process materials that comes with this map so i'll add one more uh, depending on your map you may not have it so it doesn't matter just add plus here and select asset reference and drag and drop this newly created post process material okay now here as you can see now it all became black and white all right now let me find my character drag and drop into the it into the level and for now let me disable this post processor strength 
making it zero will make it disappear now here if, even if I make the scene black and white since this character has a grayscale shading it will not uh, be clear so let's create a material instance for both this and here let's add a tint of blue like this and maybe reduce the metalness metallic look okay so now let me copy this color and use the same color here as well and and same as before reduce the metallicness to point 0.1 okay now here if I open my character let me open the character blueprint and change it to that newly created materials you see now we have a colorful character right and then if I let me go back to the post process material and change the strength back to one now as you can see here this character also became uh, black and white okay so then here for this character only I'll enable custom depth render custom depth pass okay and then here I can duplicate this node and get custom depth value if I directly connect it to the emissive color everything becomes white that's because the value we get for custom depth may be one or something larger than one I'm not really sure but if I divide this by some value like let's say 5000 and clamp it in between 0 and 1 and connect here still you don't see my, nothing here but in the level you see our character in black so not just this if I enable custom depth to any character or any object it will appear in black like this okay so now we can use this property to blend so here let me add the lerp or linear interpolation node and for one i'll add the colored input for the other one i'll add the desaturated input and as the alpha i'll use this output and connect here see now everything is in color x now everything is in black and white except the custom depth enabled object so here if i enable custom depth for these two now you see they became uh, colored objects now let me remove that and let's process this guy here now you can see in action my character is in color everything else is in black and white also if I add another guy into the map like this and disable processing and here let me duplicate this too and add a different color something like this 
Beispiel. And let me override the color for that character. Have you see these two guys are in color but everything else is in black and white now how do we assign this or change this effect uh, dynamically because that's how focus mode works when i see when i press some input it becomes like this so for that now we don't need this here permanently so let me remove that and let's go inside this character blueprint i'll add a keyboard v this is the input i'm going to use here when i press v i'll get the reference from the camera and set post process settings uh, no get post process settings and then set members in post process settings so here we should have post process materials somewhere yeah round rendering features post process materials now what we need to do is set oh wait let's can i split this yeah let's make an array and split this here i'll set the weight to one and add mpp color pop material like this now if i press v in the game that should be applied let's see press v see now that effect is applied and how do i get rid of that so here i'll add a flip flop node and just like this let me duplicate this and connect here connect this here and here i think i can leave it blank let's try press v we got the effect and uh, press v again it's gone okay so uh, yeah that's all i want to do in this episode maybe if we want to continue to fully develop the ghost of tsushima style uh, focus mode i can later on implement a way to uh, see these characters from behind objects like an outline so i am not going to do that now but i have covered that in this tutorial if you are interested in maybe you can take a look i'll leave the link to the to this youtube video in the description below so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for you to download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and feel free to check out my other stuff that i have done in my channel as well to the date there are closer to 2000 videos so that covers many different things in unreal engine so yeah feel free to check them out and yeah see you in another video goodbye